guys, look who is taking bus. You know what I'm gonna take bus? It's raining. And me I try to pick up the car, but it looks like me gonna run out of time. I don't know what to do. Cause I don't wanna take the bus tomorrow. You can't invest in a in a bus 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 so that's too much bus fare. So I try to beat the time to get where I'm going. But I don't know the bus I run so scarce today. So it look like as I reach, one bus left. So I have to wait 30 minutes for the next bus. Guys, I can't believe so we are almost at 3K. So when I made the announcement, I think I was at... I think I needed like 40 more subscribers or 50, I'm not sure. But we are almost there. Probably by the time we see this, we'll have like 10. We need like 10 subscribers or we are at the 3K. I'm so grateful. So grateful for you guys. But when we hit the 3K, I will let you guys know how grateful I am for you. Guys, when my ear my talk about something, just know that it upset me. So, I'm going to show you guys outside first. So this is what outside is like. Construction is going on. Up there is the bus stop. So that is the bus stop, the usual bus stop. But no bus can pass because it's blocked off. Anyway, as you can see, rain. So, because of the construction, I couldn't drive because I don't know where to park. Probably I would have had to park over the mall and construction did this again, so be a problem. Anyway, we decided to take the bus. That's our next thing. Today's experience with the bus, never bad, but yesterday's experience was horrible. Some people in front of me, I take picture. Them a man full of people that went with the behind of them, and it is just annoying. Be a crackhead, all of that. So, I'm never too happy for take the bus today again. Never know I would live to see this. But anyway, back to the story. Uno no se me see a specialist, right? And every time the man I give me six months for come back. Oh, let me let me let me speak English. Because I don't know what they say. <laughs> yeah, so he gave me six months to come back. Each time I see him, it's either three months or six months to come back. I was like, you know what? I'm going to change this man because I'm not seeing any progress. So I went there just now after six months. First of all, after six months, you don't remember anything. He gave me a blood test to do. I Apparently, I didn't do the blood test. But I remember telling myself that I'm not going to do it because he keeps giving me blood tests to do and remember the other day I was sick so I was doing blood tests on top of blood tests on top of blood tests so I'm like this one I'm not going to do because I don't even know if it makes sense so maybe that's how much for the paper and I don't remember or I didn't do the test you see how far me have to go? almost 10 minutes to reach to the bus stop that's my next problem so apparently I didn't do the blood test and him uh, sister me annoyed he keeps asking if everything is okay I seem down so I'm like yeah I'm good because the last time I asked him can you recommend a physical test something external he keeps saying it has to be internal it has to be internal it can't be anything external so I'm like if I am feeling pain pain then there must be something external because the internals are showing that everything is okay anyway I'm done past me I've lupus like sir i do not have lupus i saw the blood doctor and the blood doctor said everything is fine so somebody i tell lie either you tell lie or you a tell lie but according to the test from the specialist i do not have that the doctor said that they may see signs of lupus because there's a vaccine that we take in the caribbean and other countries i never remember where it's protected from that contributes to you having low iron even though technically it's not low so that's what he's saying and trying to convince me that see me don't even know where the bus they <sighs> trying to convince me that i have this thing here so anyway i said i'm not going back so they were calling me on the original date that I was supposed to go. Ignore the call, ignore the call. 
and then one mindset answer because when I want to get in trouble with Boko itself. So I answered the call and they said that they're gonna reschedule me to today. So I end up go and again as predicted, foolishness. I got down pound when me when seen on my blood from when I see on my blood. Sir, your job is to give me test and medication that will help the diagnosis that you are seeing, not what the other doctor already tell me. Say I don't need to come back because I'm okay for. So the result as it is is I am going to go back to my family doctor again and tell him to get me a new specialist because this one is not working out. Otherwise, I'm not go back. If me can do six months without medication and six months without everything, I don't need to see you, sir. But my family doctor, him, he's the next one. Because I keep telling him, can you change my doctor? First, I wanted to change my gynecologist. He mother tell me, say, nobody not take on people now. The way how him come off, I know say that is not true. But, alright then, fine. And then now, I ask him for change a doctor and keep on a girl in it, a girl in the table. This is a good, this is a good specialist, this is a good specialist, like sir. I want to change my doctor, whether I'm good or not, he's not good for me, I want to change him. So guys, I am preparing for baby's arrival. So I did my nails myself a few days ago because the girl that support that usually does my nails she raised her price and the new lo location for her you have to pay for parking so it's not just more money well it's more money all over so I'm like I'm gonna pay almost $100 for my nails nope so I said you know what I'm gonna buy the stuff and try doing it myself bought a few stuff from Shein because it doesn't have to be perfect if you know anything about gel um, or hard gel or whatever they call it they shape your fingernail nice so I said alright then I'm gonna just work with that shape so it's just polish it doesn't have to be neat or anything so I'm gonna buy the gel polish the lamp everything did it it was okay because you know I did it myself and then now I'm gonna say in the meantime, I'm going to just go and search for somebody to do it who is reasonable and, you know, who will do it nicely. I started searching on Facebook Marketplace and I saw this lady put up pics as she do the nails. And I said, alright, then I messaged her. I messaged her and she said that she can do it. So I asked for her Instagram because me very particular when it comes down to nails. Because my finger, them always are telling me I have some ginger finger. So, them have to, have to make sure say you can do your thing before you do my nails. So, she was like, Well, I can do the first one for free. And if you like it, you come back. Obviously, if I don't like it, I don't go back. 
so this is what she did I think she did a really good job my only concern is that I should not have taken the glitter I feel like I should have put the tried when when she just started I should have just put the glitter on this one to see if I like it first but then she put it all over and I'm like hmm it's new that's the only thing though I preferred it before the glitter was added to it but I think it's it's nice this is not my nail well this is acrylic and she put um fake nails extension on the tip like on the very very tip to give it some length but yeah she is very cheap like she is half the price of the average nail tech so yeah she do it for free but I still get her money well she said it's for free but I still tip her she was like no 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 but you know you have to tip people for them time give people money for them time and she use our stuff so yeah and the place is clean she's very friendly and I was looking for that because my previous nail tech she, she not friendly at all she just, you just go in straight face if you tell her saying I like something it's like it offend her and as I tell her I'm very she neat you know don't get me wrong my the, the first nail tech is very neat but I am also particular. So if I point out something I feel like, say, you should take offense to it, even if you know how to do your job well. But the only thing, as I said, I don't like fake nails, but it's just because it's the French tip. So on a regular, it would just be the acrylic, which is kind of the same as the gel. So it should be an issue. So the only thing, guys, is my hair. So I'm going to the drama about my hair now. So my first nails the previous nail um style that i had on my my nails they were extremely long they grow extremely long and i can't do my nails my hair with nails or with long nails whether my nail fall nail what it falls nail whatever so it was so awkward to do so i said you know what that is why i did it so big because i can't do it small with the the length and then it just to pull up and mash up let me say I'm going to do my ear for look nice in a labor. I'm going to look like a mad woman. Same like last time. Do my ear and say I'm going to look nice in a labor. I'm going to look like a mad lady. So I say, alright then. Since my nails are short now, I can do some... I was thinking about doing knotless. But I can't take the hours. I can't take the hours for sit down. I stand up. Not even sit down because anytime I do my ear myself, I have to stand up because I hold the two mirror them um, situated. So, I'm thinking of just doing cornrows. Do some big cornrows on my ear, because you know girl not up here. So, I don't know yet though, but this this not look ready at all, boy. You know, I have to look nice and so. Anyway, I'm not talking about so catch you guys later. Guys, look here. Hail in the middle of summer. I don't know if you can see it, all handy. See some like a beady beady ball ball. Yeah, that's hail. In the middle of summer.